Yo, what's up? I've been getting a lot of people asking me about my uh, talents and my build and stuff on Classic Era. So I'm just going to make a video and anytime someone asks me, I'm going to send them this video. So I'm going to go over the talents. It's a Ret Rec spec, 0, 25, 26. You got 5 Devotion Aura, 1 into here. Um, this is kind of like just a dump. You don't necessarily need it, but if you ever need to put a shield on, it can actually possibly help. Um... You got two out of two guardians favor you you have to get that you have to get precision three that's just three percent extra hit blessing of kings this is a, kind of a dump but the armor kind of helps a little bit i guess uh this this is useless pretty much in pvp but you like i think you have to get one in here the way the talents work three out of three hammer of justice we got five out of five reckoning that's what gives you the stacks when you get crit and you just blow people up onto the ret tree we got Improved Blessing of Might. Um, the reason I take this over Benediction is because this late in the phase, in phase six, like, you're not really playing to sustain fights. Like, people just die. So, fights, in my opinion, don't really last long enough for this talent to be useful. That, and you're trying to build to get one shots and get as much damage as you possibly can every time you swing your sword. Deflection, the reason we take four deflection, I, I like to take four deflection over even this. Is because this, the debuff for this isn't like that big so it's like i'd rather just get par more parries because you get haste when you parry so what that does is it resets your swing timer so when you, when you parry you get a free swing on someone so if you keep parrying like that you're, you're literally like a fury warrior you're just popping off on people yet you have to get two out of two uh Improved judgment decreases the cooldown by two. It's just too good to get, or too good not to get. Five out of five convictions, five crits, good. Uh, you get the seal command. It's like your main seal. And then you twist into righteousness for that damage. Pursuit of justice increases movement. And yeah, you, you need you don't need that, but I like I like being able to run fast. So eye for an eye. Uh, this is like your only real offense against casters that kind of helps it's not amazing but it does help when like a caster gets like a really big crit and then you can go over there and hit him like it can really put some damage into them and uh mages and shaman just tear you up anyways so why not be able to just like do some damage to him you know two-handed weapon spec gotta take that you have to take this and you have to take this so yeah those are the talents when it comes to gearing your strength and stamina are your main priority sets you'd want to use i mean avengers is a really good set um it's not the best this late in the phase but it is still really solid you could use the uh, pvp set best in slot gear is running two piece uh knacks and then three piece of a set uh pvp set or you could use the avengers set if you can't get your hands on the uh rank gear um any any jewelry and all that from knacks is going to be best in slot i don't have I don't have like any Nax gear. I do have like the legs from Nax, but I don't have a, uh, the shoulders to make that two piece work. But yeah, that two piece is really good. The uh, Grand Crusader. You can also use stuff like Thick Obsidian Breastplate, which is uh, it, it's good against casters. Talking about macros. Um, so I haven't tested a whole lot lately. Uh, there was some like really cool ones that worked before phase six when, when they had a uh, spell batching still in. But the main one I use right now is this one right here. You do slash cast seal of righteousness. And then on the bottom, you know, you have one more line slash start attack. So what that allows you to do pretty much is if you have stacks, just chilling, you can hit this macro when you're near someone and it'll, it'll twist your seal and attack. So you get the benefits of command and righteousness. So let me show you what that would look like. You want to have your command up just, you know, before you're even attacking, just have your command up. All you do is hit that macro and you'll get, you'll get that twist. So then here, I turn my auto attack off. You don't have to do this every time. Like you can just leave your auto attack on, especially because you get like free parries and stuff, right? So like you just go, boom, he parried me, but just showing you. Alright, so I have my command up. Just hit the macro. Boom. Show you one more time. So I have the command up. I'm not attacking. That one I did, but 
I don't I didn't get any like, crazy procs. Looked like it was just a uh, auto attack and a command on that last one, or auto attack with righteousness. I mean, but yeah, it's pretty much how it works. And the righteousness doesn't add that much damage. You really only want to use it if you have like a lot of stacks. Otherwise, it's not that much extra damage. It's probably not worth using. But if you, if you have four stacks, you might as well use it because if you do that twist, you'll get all your uh, all your righteousness procs. Where all your righteousness will have a chance to proc fiery weapons, is what I'm trying to say. So it's just a lot of extra damage, potentially. Yeah, this guy just uh, tried to gank me in the middle of me trying to make this video. So uh, I'm going to throw that in there. So yeah, that's pretty much the build. Um, it's fun to play. Ret Rec is awesome. If you have any questions or I missed anything or you want to just bounce ideas off me, feel free to comment down below. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Um, yeah. Peace.